Just like their husbands, African First Ladies come to Addis Ababa every year in January for the General Assembly of the Organization of African First Ladies Against HIV AIDS, organized on the margins of the African Union Summit. This year, the focus was on advancing sustainable partnerships to end pediatric AIDS and improve adolescent sexual reproductive health and rights. Namibian First Lady Monica Gainkos, in her address to the Assembly, touched on the underlying issues of teenage pregnancy, sexual and reproductive health, and early childhood marriages. And a lot of it has got to do with poverty. So I think there's underlying key issues. Everything we're talking about today, whether it's access to the HPV vaccine, um, whether it's reducing pediatric um, AIDS, whether it's um, reducing learner pregnancies, it's all got to do with the underlying issue of poverty, unemployment within the youth, and really making sure that as Africa we provide hope to our young. Ghanaian First Lady and President of Uafla, Nana Mahama, told the gathering that there are some unfavorable laws and policies contributing to the problem. For her, the bug starts and stops with them, because for to whom power is given, much is expected. We, the First Ladies of Africa, must keep these issues high on our continent's agenda and attract potential partners to support our efforts. Progress has, however, been achieved through multiple efforts, and many of the First Ladies here reported about a number of activities they are organizing in their respective countries to end pediatric deaths and other challenges linked to sexual and reproductive health. Donatani Shiridu, NBC News, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.